Love the JJK shirt. Yeah, it's a good one. No, I love Sasuke. Okay, I gotta stop with that joke. Someone's gonna be like, Joel's, I would watch your content, but like, you know nothing about anime. You are a fucking poser. <laughs> I just like trolling, all right? Come on, man. My name is Joel's. I'm a Radiant player. If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe, considering 80% of you guys are still not subscribed. I do these coaching sessions live, so you're more than welcome to swing by the stream and ask questions. If you're interested in coaching yourself, click the link in the description. Click the book a lesson button and select your plan in time. Lastly, if you want a chance to win free coaching, be sure to comment down below your Discord name and why you think you deserve it. I'll be picking out a person randomly. Other than that, enjoy the video. Yeah, for some reason, it's kind of, kind of like, are you on Wi-Fi by chance? Uh, yes, I am. That'll do I it. I ordered an Ethernet. It's coming soon. I see. Nice shot. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. One thing I'm noticing though, careful with pulling out your knife too early, right? As soon as you get a kill, you pull out your knife. I know that you got your butterfly knife. I do the same thing, but be careful with uh, quick switching a little bit, you know, too, too, too much. Whoa, what was the buy here? Oh, we grief for the buy. I uh, need to pay more attention to that. Ah, okay, so they're kind of just chilling out in the open. That was a little scary. Also, another thing too, I forgot to mention this, but after winning pistol rounds, if you win the pistol round, the next round, always, always buy full armor specter. Always. All the way until you're at least immortal. Just that's, that's like a rule of thumb. You should always buy up like that. Uh, go light armor um, specter. Always check and see. Like if your teammates are buying, you want to buy with them. Yeah, try and help your team mid here. Yep. Yeah, peek, 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 peek. Nice. Good trade. Great trade. So you're low HP. You want to kind of take a little bit of a risk here. Don't, 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 don't throw, oh. There's no time, just live here and you win. This was a good round. So careful with using utility when they don't know where you are. Where you are is such a big information. It's definitely worth playing the information that they don't know where you are way more than it is to get any sort of value out of your utility there. Okay, yeah, good. That that's great sense. info. I ulted, get over here, come on. <laughs> this is a live, right? All right, I think there. I think you spent a little bit too much time trying to wall bang. It's it's kind of risky, right? Rather than just trying to take like gum fights and yeah. putting yourself in in good spots. Avoid trying to play the same spot every round. Try playing back. Yeah. Go, yep. 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 Good. Nice. I actually really like that. So I like the peak there. Um. So by letting them come out a little bit and fight your cipher. Now you can peek, and now you both can fight that target, right? So yeah. that's something always to think about. Are there internet? What am I doing? You're good. You're good. Don't be too hard on yourself. They're a. Oh heaven. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so another thing too to also think about is where all three of your teammates were. So all of you guys were kind of clustered around B, which means you kind of gave up A site completely. And with enough time that goes by, they can get really deep into a site like heaven there, right? Um, so the more time that goes by where your teammates are watching something, the more you need to start like doubt needs to start creeping into your head about where they could be, right? Oh! Oh! Wait, he's kind of wait. They're kind of a demon. I like the ult to secure the round. Ooh, this is a good round. This was a really good round. This was a really, really good round. I actually, uh, even though it was a 2v1, I actually like you using, using your ult there just to secure it, right? If I win this game, this is going to be my first time ever hitting bronze. Really? This is your bronze game? Yes, I am 12 RR off. Let's go. All right. Hey, we're winning this game. Last player standing. Just play the bomb. Don't even peek. Don't even peek. Wait for the top. Yeah. Nice. Always, always play objectives like that, right? Like, the reason for that is like, even if that person kills you, you still win that round because they don't have time, yeah. right? I wasn't nice planning on peeking. I was just trying to look at the mini map, line up my crosshair. So if I hold A, I'm already at their head. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. This person doesn't even need coaching. What am I here for? <laughs> Careful with the reloads. 
You want to reload yeah. when you're safe, you know, when you're pushing in. Hey, one more round. One more round and they get their bronze. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm old too in my 30s and I love Val. Let's go. Hey, I'm pretty close too. I turned 29 in a month. Shouldn't have committed to the fight that early. You know, I actually don't mind the commitment. I think careful with wide swinging too much. You were exposed by two people there. So I think isolating the 1v1s was uh, the biggest thing. But nice job. Hey, that's your peak, right? You just got bronze. Yes. Let's go. Yes. New peak. Let's go. Yes. W. Nice job. All right, all right. Let me let me go into a custom. Let me go over some couple stuff that might help you out. Okay. Isolating 1v1s. This was like a big thing. I'm noticing like a lot of times when you're peeking corners, but basically every time you're peeking, if there's a person here and there's a person here, all right? If you're going to fight this guy, you don't want to peek like this, right? Yeah. Because that does that make sense? Cuz now it's not a 1v1. Now it's a 1v2. You're you're fighting two people. So by isolating 1v1s, you want to peek with just that person that you want to fight. So how you peek corners, it should be, I'm going to peek and check the first angle that comes to mind, right? I would, I would peek something like this. Logs, mark it, here, here, on top of the stairs, here, now spawn. Let's say there's two, there's, let's say there's two people here and here. You have to split it up like this. You cannot peek. You cannot peek spawn like this. Now it's two. It's a one v two again. So again, right side spawn, left side spawn. Maybe on top of the box, jet updraft. Now you're checking stairs uh, for sight. Now you can check boathouse, you know, and so on and so forth. So this is how you isolate one v ones. So this entire thing is a pie from here all the way here. This is a giant pie, and you just want to cut up the slices, right? You you just slice slice. Slice, 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 right? How I'm peeking this is called quick peeking, okay? And that is like, basically, you can take two steps without making a sound, right? Like, look, I'm not holding shift right now. I'm not holding shift. You hear that? You hear nothing, you know? You don't hear a footstep. And this is quick peeking. You can take two to three steps without actually making a sound. Uh, it takes practice to do, but this is how you want to peek corners. Don't do this, right? This is very easy to die from. You want to peek like this, ready for the fights that you want to take. Uh, are the all are all the tiny little like breaks in between to like reset your crosshair to be accurate in case they're there? Um, yeah, and it's to give you time because right, you can't you can't just like full sprint, otherwise you make steps. So you have to have a little break, you know, in between yeah. the steps. Otherwise, you're gonna make sound. So. You have to split it up in breaks like this, and you might as well use that time for the break to reset your, your crosshair. So it would be like, you know, here, my next one would be for market, my next one would be here, you know, and, and so on and, and so forth. So you can use that break to reset your crosshair, that's fine too. Okay, so positioning, here was a, there was a big one. Sometimes I, I see you just like kind of taking these gunfights and, and kind of just chilling here. You want to avoid this. You want to avoid taking like any sort of or getting caught in the open, especially. You don't want to be caught here. This is scary. This is like you want to put yourself in a spot where they're not looking at you. And when they're coming in the corner, where are they looking? Well, they're looking exactly where you're at. They're looking right here. They're coming out like this way and then they start cleaning this way. Play like right here. This is a good spot. Not here. They're looking at you here. Here. They're not. They're coming around the corner. They they check here, hundred percent. This is why they check it, right? And then they check here, and then they check here, and now they start checking towards stairs. As they're checking stairs, that's where your angle comes in, right? So you always want to put yourself in a spot where they're not looking. It gives you free kills, especially in iron and bronze. These guys, they're very one dimensional, right? Also, also, don't be hard on yourself. I cannot stress this enough. If you whiff, it's fine. It is completely okay to whiff. I whiff all the time. Be calm. Just be like, even if you're whiffing, just be like, I'm whiffing, but so is he. I'm going to win. I'm going to win this fight. After I kill him, I can talk about it afterwards and be like, oh, well, I whiffed. Even if you die whiffing, next round, just be like, all right, I whiffed last round, but I'm about to pop off this round, right? Don't, just don't get in your own head. You are your own worst enemy sometimes, okay? Just don't be too hard on yourself about that, all right? Uh, so uh, another thing I want to go over is practice range. Let's go over the practice range a little bit. Some stuff that might help you. All right. Another thing that I notice, you do this, uh, sometimes you do this little burst, but you stand still when you're bursting. So, bursting is fine. It's really good to do, actually. This is you standing still, okay? You're sitting duck, right, while you're doing this burst. You're standing still. Now, with the exact same fire rate, right, you can strafe in between those shots. 
See? Yeah, I saw I saw you do that in another coaching. Like yeah. just before we started, I practiced that in deathmatch, but I guess I forgot to do it. This is something that you would have to practice, like in the practice range, and then in a deathmatch, and then after in your deathmatch, go into a game. And then before you peek something, tell yourself, if somebody's there, I'm going to burst and strafe him. No matter what. Like in your mind before you peek. Tell yourself that. I'm going to burst and strafe. You got to do that. You have to do that a couple times to get yourself used to it and build that habit for yourself. For, for a couple, like I would do this for 10, 15 minutes. And then after 10, 15 minutes, take a five minute break and then go back at it. 10, 15 minutes, right? All right. All right. So I think that's the most of what I want to go over. Is there any questions? Um, Not really. No. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Enjoy your rank game. And I'm glad that you hit your bronze. Good stuff. Good work. Thank you. Have fun with Keo. Thank you. Have a good one. See ya.